Hello, my name is Vlad and I'm here on behalf of ITAsystem.org to give you a short introduction tutorial on bash scripting. First of all, a script is a text file made out of commands specific to a certain interpreter, in our case bash. The main advantage of using scripts is that we can automatize tasks much faster than by doing them in a classical programming language like C by using already existing commands available to the shell. So let's start by defining a variable. The syntax is variable name, let's say var, equals a value. Five. To print a variable, we have to expand it by using the dollar sign. So we'll use echo dollar sign var, and we get its value. Be very careful in bash scripting; spacing is very important. So something like var blank space equals five will not work and give you an error. To read a variable from the standard input, we just enter read and variable name, and enter a value. And then if we echo var2, we'll get its value. The well-known decision instruction if is also present in bash and has the following syntax. If between square brackets the condition, let's say var equals 5, which is obviously true because we define var over here, the keyword then, and our action, let's say echo true, our else action, echo false, and we end the if condition by using phi. And obviously we get true. The, um, we also have the classical loop instructions in bash, for and while. The for syntax is for the loop counter y in a list of values for y to take. We'll generate by that list with sec. Sec from 1 to 5 will give us uh, the list of numbers from 1 to 5. And the keyword do. The a our action will be to print the loop counter and we end the for loop with done and we get the five values. The while, the while instruction is very similar to the C while instruction. We just do while the condition y not greater than five the keyword do, our action is also, let's say, echo y counter, and we'll also increment uh, y i to avoid um, getting an infinite loop. And we also end the loop with done. And as expected, we get uh, the, four, the five numbers. What better way to understand than by doing a practical example? Let's create our own bash script touch my ls because we will implement the ls command which will print the files and directories located in the directory given as parameter. Let's give our script execution rights like this and then we can safely start editing it. The first line of the script should be the shebang line which gives us the path of the interpreter which will parse our script. In our cases it's slash bin slash bash. Now, uh, we have to check for, check for the number of arguments that our uh, script receives at runtime. Because if uh, our script receives no parameters, we have to ls the current directory. Or else, if we receive one parameter, we have to list the contents of that specific directory. So, an if structure. The number of arguments is stored in the following variable, dollar sign hash, which is predefined for us. If this variable equals to zero, then we take an n variable which will hold the total number of files and folders located in that in the current directory. Uh, we initialize it to zero. Then with the for loop, we go through all the files and folders for i in star, which will match on everything in the current directory. Do we test if the specific variable uh, i is a file or folder with the test command test minus f dollar sign i then we echo the number uh, the name of the file preceded by an f else elif actually if i is a directory test minus d then we echo the name of the file preceded by a d we end the file instruction we increment n of course and we end the for loop as well. 
the last thing, thing we need to do is uh, echo the total number of files and folders. Now, elif, the total number of arguments was 1, then we do approximately, approximately the same thing, but for now, first we have to go to that specific directory with the cd command, of course. cd, and the first parameter can be accessed with the dollar sign $1, which is also predefined. And we also ignore the standard output and error of cd by redirecting them to slash dev slash null. Now we have to check if that specific directory located stored in $1 actually exists. We do that like this if dollar sign question mark which is actually the last error code the last error code being the, the, la the error code of the cd command if that uh, error code is not equal to zero then it means that the directory does not exist we echo the directory does not exist and we exit our bash script and we can um, enter the file and now we're sure that the directory exists and we can do and we can just copy paste from above because it's the exact same, same thing and now the only difference is that we have to go back to our, the, um, the directory where the script was launched we do that with the cd minus and also redirect its output and error to slash dev slash null else if our uh, script is more than one parameter we echo the usage for the user of the script to know how to properly use it the name of the script is dollar zero and the directory which is optional and we finally end the phi the main phi one last check on the script seems pretty okay now let's execute it as we see, we get the files and folders in the current directory. Now let's list the root. We get b and boot, everything that we would expect to be in uh, the root. If we uh, send it more than one parameter, we get the usage. And uh, if we give it a wrong directory, let's say wrong, we get the directory does not exist, as expected. I hope you, en you enjoyed this tutorial. More video tutorials on itssystem.org slash blog. Have a nice day.